I got my tiny tags necklace in. What is that? It says all the kids' names on it. I don't know if I can. That is so sweet. And I never have any. I mean, I don't have anything with all of their names on it. I have like the Alex and Ani stuff with just the boys. Oh but yeah. I was excited to um to get this yesterday. So. Did you get um Victoria's name for Alex and Ani, or they stopped making it? No, they stopped making the charms. So I was never able to get the the, the like the necklace charm. I have the I have the bracelet, but I never got the like the necklace charm. So I was happy I got this. Can't you email Alex and Ani? I mean, you would think that Alex would be on would be on it. Would you think that Alex would be on it? You know what I'm saying? That was very, you were quick. You were like a whip. you were like a whip. So right. you're gonna see new kids on the block today. Oh, I was like, I showered at like six thirty. I was like, I don't know. I gotta get. I gotta get ready for this. This is like really like the most important moment of my life. So I thought you were gonna be '80s gear, head to toe, hot pink lipstick, um, scrunchie on your head, side ponytail. I told Bill, I was like what do you wear when you're meeting the new kids on the block? And he was like, something bloody. And I was like, I'm your wife. Right. You're like, I, I wouldn't know. pull you off yet. I don't, if, if, if I have to take one for the team, it's probably not going to be the new kids on the block. I was like, no, no, that's not what I thought you were going to say. I was like, well, what about like, I just, I just have like a regular shirt on, you know? Yeah. I was like, what about like just this regular like striped shirt? I was like, I'm going to wear heels. Right. I don't want to be in flats when I meet the new kids. No, will all of them be there? It's going to be all of them, right? Yes. Mm -hmm. Yes. So I'm super excited. The only thing is in the email, they said no selfies or anything. Right. Which I might defy. I'm still thinking. I've been seeing a ton of people put pictures up with them, so they have to take photos. But I think this is a big, like, press event. So they, I think there's a photographer that is going to take a group shot of, of one. Like, you would go with the five of them, and then you'll walk off. And then you'll get it later. And then I'm gonna I'm gonna jump on them before Perfect. they leave and get in trouble. I think that's the I think that's what I'm planning on doing. I just well, love that it's all 30 plus women that like. I mean, as soon as I, I saw that on Facebook, I was like, "You go back to that kitty kid." Like I legit remember talking about them in high school, like they were God. That's what I told Bill. I said I'm going for my 12 year old self. Right. Like I have to go for her. It is not a choice. I have to Little Vera deserves it. Because she, she wanted to meet these people so bad. So if I ever time travel, I could tell her, don't worry. You will meet these we'll meet men. Them someday. You will meet them one day. Right. So that's my goal. And look, I had a huge allergic reaction. Oh, my God. What is that from? A pillow. I, I, I'm I, very I, glad my husband is not in this room right now. What aren't you freaking allergic to? <laughs> I should live in a bubble is the end. The end result is I should live in a bubble. And I didn't even want to try to like put, I want to just let it. I commend you. I commend you for, for showing us. Okay. I commend you for showing us. It's terrible. It's so weird how it always just stops right here. So, thank, thank God it's not. I, I don't like, know how you, I mean, I'd be like, I'm not, I, honestly, I woke up with a pimple on my lip. I'm not going to even go there because that looks like it's itchy. It's so itchy, but I can't, I'm trying not to touch it. Like all night I was like, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. oh my God. But anyway, all right. So we only have a little bit of time today. I'm going to go to the um, Ben's school just so he can do his business. His biz business day. Um, <laughs> I was looking at the science section and I was crying. I was like, Please move away from the freaking science. You and I were like the blind leading the blind the other day. All right. Let's, let's just go. Pure nonsense. Bring it. Paula Abdul. Thank you. Say no more. Speaking of the 80s, Paula Abdul had a contestant throw up on her. Ow, ow, ow. <laughs> After performing. So she did her little performance. It was a 12-year-old girl. She did her performance. On oh, so you 12, okay. And then she vomited on her. What was it, nerves? I'm assuming it was nerves. I mean, honestly. Honestly, Vera, I can't say when my kids throw up. I'm, I'm like, I'm like, it's okay. I'm dry. He, I can't even imagine somebody not related to me, someone I don't know, throwing up on me. Yeah, like, like she went to hug Paula because she loves her, and then Paula was like sitting down, consoling her, and then all of a sudden she literally vomited her. I just watched the video. It is totally disgusting. Like, do not watch it. It's no, I'm, I can't. I'll, I legit will dry heave. So. Yeah, and then she and then after she threw up on Paula, 
<clears throat> she grabs the ticket and walks out like, Woo! Got it! Look at the gold ticket! Yeah, like, look at the golden ticket with vomit on it. Oh my like, God, I can't. She's a 12 year old girl. So I guess that's a story that's going to go down like forever. Like, who? I'm surprised there's no get like gifts out yet. You know what I mean? Right. Like, and, I know, and I know you've been on that site searching all morning. Throw up, throw up on Paula. Paula, throw, throw up. up. Little girl, throw up. Throw up Abdul. Um, so, all right. So, Kendall and Kylie Jenner. You're speaking my language. <laughs> Wait, I'm like, it's like a drug injection. Yeah, you're like, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Um, Kendall and Kylie Jenner, and I know that you will support this. Yes. They, boy, your, your voice just shook a little bit. I'm more um, interested in this in politics. Yes. They came out with the new swim lane. What is it? Like a, a floss? It, no, it, actually they're, 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 they're not. Uh, Kylie's a floss across just your nipples. Some of them are little and some of them are actually appropriate. So I need photos. I need to look at photos. I'm going to go on Facebook right now. It's called Swim, and it's available at Topshop. Well, it's a very creative name, right? They went on in the box for that they're, one. They're like, what should we call this? What should we call this one? I'm not quite sure. You know what? Okay, I see it. I see it. Let me see. I'm pulling it up. I know you can't see me pulling it up, but I'm pulling it up. It's cute. And they're modeling it, which is smart. They're gonna yes, Kendall it. is gorgeous, the tall one. Yeah, she's really pretty. You know, I mean, she's go it's not coming up for me. The site, it's probably sold out. Does no, I, I think it, it launches tomorrow. It launches tomorrow. You should go on Facebook and just look at the photos. There's a bunch of um, photos. I, oh, okay, because I was trying to click on that side link. Oh, and I saw that Jennifer Goodwin had her baby. She remember did. Saw, yeah, Jennifer Goodwin and Josh Dallas. Because remember, we interviewed her for Zootopia. I thought she, when we interviewed her, when we interviewed her, I thought she was a lot farther along than she was. Yeah, me too. So obviously it's like March, April, May, June. So she would, she still had a good like four and a half, five months to go. But she had her baby. Yeah, I'm happy for her. Do we know if it's a boy or a girl yet? It was a boy. What, did we have a name? You know, she didn't, they didn't disclose all the name. Not yet. They want another press release on it. Oh, I'm sorry. They did. Hugo Wilson was born June 1st. I think Hugo is a popular... Um, that's a popular British name. Is her <laughs> husband British? And the brother, yeah, I, I don't, you know what? Josh Dallas, he sounds like he's totally American, right? Okay, well, I don't know why I said that. And I, you know why I said that? Because I found the link to Topshop and it's the UK version. So my oh, brain, yeah. my brain, I found the photos. I tried to add it to. I'm looking at them right now. And the other boy's name is um, Oliver. So, oh, I, you know what, Vera, I'm looking at them. They're not bad. They actually are are really cute. Yeah, they are cute. I, 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 I think they're appropriate i don't think they're like, like funny or anything you should start a swim line mine you should call be, it mom swim mine would be moo moo dresses i wear out i wear outfits to the beach but that would be the best although i know it was cute because when you showed up on in florida matt wasn't sure if it, he's like i never seen you in a bathing suit before he had never seen you in a bathing suit before but you had your skirt so i wasn't sure if it was like an outfit I that, said, no, no, that, that was her bathing, bathing suit. Huh? That was my bathing suit. The skirt, the skirt is my bathing suit. No, I'm talking to Vera. Look, hi. She's playing with Yoda. I walked in there earlier, and she had Yoda hugging her shoulders. Aww. So. And I, I love when moms are like, I would never wear a skirt to the beach. And I'm like, I would never not wear a skirt to the beach. Yeah, you're like, I would never not wear a full outfit from head to toe to the and beach. I, what I wear to the beach is what I used to wear clubbing. When I was in high school, that's actually the perfect analogy. It's the same outfit. It's it is right. the same outfit. Very tight, very form fitting, and ultra short. Super tight, super high. Do you remember when we were in Orlando or with Haynes a few years? Like it was like maybe like five, six years ago. You wore to the beach this adorable tunic, but it was black with like a white. It was black. I actually saw the photo. Of it. it was black with like a white V-neck. You had a bathing suit on underneath it, but it went like right to the bottom of your butt cheek, but it was a tunic and you had a bathing suit on. And we were walking to the lobby and I didn't know when you came to my door to get me that it was a, I thought you were just wearing a dress. I was like, wow. I remember that. I, remember that. I, I came across that little nugget yesterday. I, I, I laughed to myself. Okay. Um, all right, so Kanye West Ice Cream Week. Yawn. So over him. Rapper inspired dessert. Is 
So between June 2nd and June 12th, you can get Young Metro Milkshake yeah. or Kanye West Ice Cream Bar. There you go. I mean, there you go. Charity? Right. It's to celebrate Kanye West's birthday. Oh my God. All right. I mean, whatever. Let him. Ha he's like, going to go away. He's just. He's a nut. Let him. Do, let him. Do. It's almost like that crazy kid in school. You let him do his thing. You know, I don't. I don't know if you're going to amount to anything in your lifetime. We're going to let you do your thing. That's kind of like Kanye. Definitely amounted to something. He, he, he amounted to a little thing. You know what I saw this morning though? It's one of the. Sorry about Victoria. The Chewbacca woman. Can, oh, like now she's getting like controversy from people. That like she's not famous enough. She's not news. Why you know like this poor lady? I know we made her go viral, and the same people that shared that video are the same ones complaining now. Like have her go away. You know what? It's like they're jealous that she's getting like money or fame or like you know more than her fifteen minutes. Like come on. But here, and here's the truth on that. I will say this. Yes, I heard what what what, what the Chewbacca mom has to say about white what has said about white privilege. What was the title that struck me? Yeah, and everybody is responding to it because the video brought joy, a true sense of joy. Right. For it, you laughed. I cried for her. I really did feel happy. For her. Right. But the article that I read said. What about all these viral stars that you know, people of color, like the, the woman last year that said, my eyebrows are on fleek. Yeah. And she became an overnight internet and it's not part of vocabulary. Right. Say that. Right. It changed society, this woman. T-shirts. This woman has impacted the way people speak. And nobody knows this woman's name. This is why we need a show. I love that you just said she's impacted. She has, though. I have a shirt that says marriage on fleek. <laughs> nobody gave her anything. I agree with you on that. It's just funny, our logic. We're like, she has changed the world. I have it. She hasn't positively changed the world, but she has... Hey, it was an episode on the Kardashians, the, them talking about it. Like, what video was it? And they were like showing the video on the show. I, I know. I'm saying, like, this girl, like, just her, she was the example. Everybody knows her. Everybody says what this girl says, but nobody gave her anything. Yeah. We all still laughed at the video. We thought the video was funny, whatever, but she didn't get anything. So, yeah. Also, the Chewbacca video was pure joy. It was pure joy, yes. And she didn't expect it to go. No. Not that the on fleek woman did, but like, and it was like the highest viewed on Facebook. So, her going to Facebook. You know, and doing the thing. And then it was Star Wars. So Star Wars jumped yeah. in. And Coles. Right. Coles had a benefit. Right. Like all these brands that she did. Right. Like all these. Like, and she's not a blogger. So it's not even like she did it for a blog post or to try to go like viral on Facebook Live or to get viewers. Like she's not someone that does YouTube videos every single day. You know what I mean? I, I don't know. It was just like I, I saw that and I was like. No, but it's true. Like for the Chewbacca mom, the stars were just a Line. She was promoting a product. Coles jumped on that to ju jumpstart that. Star Wars jumped on that. Yes. Jumped on that. That's why it did so well. Right. Not because she was white. Right. Yeah. No, but I understand the conversation that's being had. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like I understand why this conversation is being had. But for that particular case, I mean, now she went backstage. And to where? The CMAs. Like, she just got a backstage pass to the country music. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Like yeah. And I'm sort of like, okay, this is still happening. Like, we're still oh, yeah. talking about her. More than two minutes are not up. They should have been up. Like, it was it was, it was, was great when she went to Disney World. You're, you're, ready, you're ready for her to shut it down. I mean, it made sense for Disney. It made sense for Star Wars. It made sense for Kohl's. Yeah. You know she's going to be on some holiday Kohl's ad, right? Like, I think she's going to get a show. She's going to, like, this is going to be huge for her. I think know? she's going to get a show. I think she's going to get a Finding Joy show or something. Right. Because people are just going to keep, like, let's see how much we can get out of this woman. Yeah. 
anything, you know? Yeah. yeah. But like you said, she never did it to get anything. Right. I mean, like you and I both know that the world that we live in and work in every single day, you know, if if one of our videos, if this video went viral, like that was, that could potentially like change our lives. Like, but we are going into this knowing this. She was just in her car, pop on the cell phone. Oh my God, I have to share this. And like, just, it was just to her hilarious. Yeah. So, you know, it was like one of those, it's like, it's like those models that you hear about, like, oh my God, I was just on the street in New York City and some guy came up to me and said, you should model. And it happened to be like an elite for whatever guy. And all of a sudden, like, boom. Overnight. But also, like, she's also forced laughing all the time now. Yes. I, okay. I did notice that when she was on, I guess, with the ABC, um, Robin, I forget her last name, Robin. Like, <laughs> but it's imagine like, like all like, and I'm not trying to defend her, but imagine like never being on TV, never being in the public eye, like just living a very quiet life, doing your thing. And they're expecting her to all of a sudden, right? You're you're thrust, and people are you. We know how people are. People are probably like, yeah. you got to go on, you got to do your thing. People yes. want this. They're expecting this. Yeah. You know? So she has all this pressure to now laugh hysterically every single time she goes right. somewhere. What pressure that is, you know, right. like. She's like, okay, great. You're going to go on the Ellen show. You're going to laugh. Um, just to make sure that you just laugh hysterically at every single thing she says. Go. Right. right. I'm like, what? I just bought a mask. So this is what this thing is saying. I pulled up. And someone said the same people who are who made her famous by watching her and sharing her video are complaining that she isn't news. She shouldn't be famous. And she should get everything she's gotten to charity. <gasps> Come on. I mean, you know, I, I mean, I think that's a, that's a steep, you know. I would never give a college education away. Hell no. Did she get a college education? Her, her, all her children got a free college education from a Florida university. Then, yeah, absolutely not. I mean. I mean, who cares about the toys? I would give the toys away. But right. Yeah. Done. Away college education from my family? I don't think so. Yeah. Great. Yeah. You, She's doing her way to the bank. Like, you know, all these people. You know, like someone said, she didn't set out to make a fortune. She posted something fun and said, kind of like, you know, it was free advertising for them. Like, you know. Um, all right. So we only have like one more minute. So let me just bring this up. You're not even going to care about this, but this is like totally epic and I'm dying. Is it Game of Thrones related? No, it's Walking Dead related. Okay. But it had to be one or the other. But I know that I love that you know me. I love that you know me. Well, do you know how long it took me to figure out in an email that you sent what GOT was? <laughs> I legit had to Google it. I went. It was an uppercase G, lowercase O, uppercase T, and Game of Thrones popped up. Just so you know the backstory. Yeah. So, did you ever see Nicolas Cage as Ghost Rider many moons ago? Best friend game show. What would be your honest answer? No. No. Okay. So it's a, you know, Ghost Rider is sort of like this, like Marvel guy on a motorcycle. I think I remember seeing pictures. Is he all in black? All in black. You know, he has vengeance. Bad guys. That's the storyline, right? So Norman um, Rita from Dead. Who I love, motorcycle bad guy. You know, like he's he's basically this, like, 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 a better character has put it out there and said, yes, I want to be um, Ghost Rider in the next Marvel remake for um, Ghost Rider. Okay. Obviously, obviously they're not going to use Nicolas Cage again. He's like 25 years older than when he made the first movie. But I mean, if he, he uh, see, this also annoys me because. Would you want Nicolas Cage to come back? I like Nicolas Cage in movies, but I like him because I like B movies. I like sci fi. Right. Okay. Campy. This is a horrible movie. I love it. Like, I like watching hard, bad filmed movies and Nicolas right. Cage. Mom, I that vibe. Um, but Norman Reedus is a much better version. Yeah. I mean, he is, he basically plays his guy. Right, right. You know, on fire or whatever. So that's the rumor right now is that he's going to be the next Marvel inductee. But it's all rumors and speculation. It's all rumors at this point. He's just putting it out there. He's just putting it out there. But everybody yeah. on the internet is saying absolutely not. Please, we see Norman being this. But here's the scary part, and you don't have to walk through Somebody died the last episode of the last season. 
Mom, and you don't know who it was? Right. But Norman Reedus got a new show. And now he's talking about movies. So we're like, is it you? Like, it you? why are you doing all this stuff? Like, why, yeah, yeah. why are you talking about movies? And why do you have a new show? Like, why yeah. are you talking about all these things? Like, but so that I totally you're, not ha- you're not happy about that. And I'm like, are they tricking me? Right. They want me to think that it's him, but it's not him. I'm sort of like, don't know what's going on. So that's the last thing. On. This is very enlightening for me. It's all me. about you, right? Uh, it's you see, all about you, me. Do you hear God? I hear God from the back. Let's mess with, let's mess with Vera. Thank yeah, you, God. So like, what can we do today? Hmm. Huh. We have nothing planned for 2017. Let's mess with Vera Sweeney. Oh. Okay, did you hear that Ed Sheeran got sued for $20 million for copyright infringement over a song photograph? No. What? Oh, I like him yes, too. Me too. He's over his hit song photograph, two musicians claim the song bear a similar structure to one of their songs, Amazing. And then they have links to the two different songs, um, and a lot of people are saying that he's not that he, that he won't. You know, it's it's it will be fine. They, they they play two chords the same for two seconds. Can you imagine that? You played two chords the same way. I am suing your ass. Yeah, that's basically pretty much. Can you what I'm saying. I can't. They're saying some people are saying yes. They both sound slow and boring. I love it. Mean. People are so mean. All right, you know you love it. All right, well I'm off to Ben's thing. You're off to New Kids on the Block. Yeah, yeah. we'll talk about everything tomorrow. Let me give you some props before we hang up. Let me see. Have a great, have a great Thursday, everybody. Do these thingies show up when we post it on? Um, I don't Facebook? know, but I feel like every day we should give each other like a hundred. So then at the end. I gotta do. Oh, I can give myself props. Oh, can wait, I? Man, I'm like not hanging we, gotta up. Even. we gotta be even. All right. I'll talk to you tomorrow. All right. Bye.